Good Monday, Monday of Holy Week, the week of Easter where our thoughts and our souls are turned towards Calvary and the thought of what the work on the cross means to us. Uh, this, this week, as I come to you these three days, we're going to look at some people from the story. You know, there were four prominent evildoers that were connected to the Savior's death. Now, first, there was Judas. Not only was he the greatest traitor, but he was also a thief. I mean, he carried the money bag for the disciples, so they apparently trusted him. But in John 12, 6, we see that he was guilty of taking some of the money from himself. And I mean, the, and it begs the question, what man has ever been so close to the Lord whose heart was so far away? Second, there was Barabbas. He was a prominent insurrectionist. He was a murderer and he was headed for the center cross. He was a despised enemy of Rome. And when Pilate asked that frenzied crowd which prisoner to release, he knew they would choose to release Jesus. But instead, they chose Barabbas and they condemned Jesus. So Barabbas gained his freedom. Christ was indeed his substitute. And Barabbas knew what it meant to have someone die in his place. It meant nothing to him, though, did it? Sadly, there is no record that he ever put his faith in the Savior. And like Barabbas, we all stand condemned, guilty, vile, helpless. But God in his great mercy provided a substitute to pay the full price of our sins. And finally, there are two other criminals crucified with Jesus. Initially, both men joined the mocking chorus. But one of these men was unchanged. And he continued to reject the Son of God right up to the moment that he took his last breath. He refused to look to the one who was just feet away from him that could save his soul for all eternity. And he represents every lost and unrepentant sinner. Oh, but the other thief who brings so much encouragement to us. Something calls the other to change. His eyes were open to the glory of the person next to him. He recognized him as both Lord and King, and his faith was great, believing that a dying Jesus would indeed have a kingdom. He called upon the name of the Lord. Lord, remember me. And he was glorious saved. And he certainly gives hope to us all. Four, four guilty sinners in the presence of Jesus. One who was saved. I pray that you are one. And let's remember those who have not yet seen or heard yet. Let us pray hard for them this week. Jesus, we love you. We thank you for your work that you did for us. Lord, it is not in vain in me. Lord, please, make it not in vain in our family and friends. Draw them close to you. Help them to believe. For it is in your name, Jesus, that we pray. Amen.